Hello everyone, Mas Bajo here and in this video I just want to show you something that I made it's an animation using Blender GLSL viewport and this is uh, quite quick to render uh, it's almost instantly almost but uh, it's something looks like this so uh, this is um, real time I mean this is happening on the viewport and we can see the smoke is get affected by the the bike object the hover bike and it's look nice so um, what I did was uh, I made this into a couple of layers so for these layers uh, this is uh, the terrain layers so I added some low poly rock that have a um, uh, uh, normal maps in it so uh, it's light and for the distant terrain uh, I'm using an ANT landscape it's uh, in the this one and for the lens flare uh, I'm using this texture from CF Irwin 3 if I'm correct spelling his name he made some awesome tutorial about GLSL viewport renders so if you guys want to know more about GLSL and want to use his lens flare you can visit this channel uh, I probably gonna put the link on the description so for the lens flare here um, I'm setting this into uh, let me change into the blender game this setting is on the blender game and I'm change this from the opaque oops and change it into add mode so it looks awesome uh, same as for this small I don't know what it's called this lens and for the smoke for the smoke um, this is pre baked simulation so I'm using a plane and set this plane into quick smoke object and then for the setting um, let me change back into the blender render and for the setting uh, I decrease the density into 0.3 and the temperature difference into 0 and change the color slightly blue and same as for this one and for the domain I'm using a 64 division and leave the rest into their default setting and I did pre-pick this one so that it would be lighter not so and I also add a force field a win and 
I set this wind strength into 0.2 not too much and I'm using a simple light this is a sun lamp and increase the energy into 5 and this is a hemi light and change the color into a slightly blue and set the energy into 0.1 and for the world setting I'm using environment light lighting and change into the sky texture and changing the horizon color into brown orange and the sky zenith color into bluish something so it's look like this and for the simulation for the simulation for the smoke simulation I am setting up the hover bike object or the floating motorcycle this object here I set this object into a smoke and change the uh, this thing into collision and make it animated so when we play back the simulation it affecting the smoke it's more or less looking something like this so as you can see the smoke get affected by the bike object and uh, what else so uh, so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoying this and learn something from this so uh, thank you for watching and see you guys on my next video I hope and bye bye